Lu Jin Al Hatlul has languished for more than two and a half years in prison, with no visible progress in her trial, despite international scrutiny. The Saudi human rights activist was arrested in May 2018 after campaigning for years for women's rights in the country, including the right to drive. She was detained along with other female activists just weeks before the ban on women driving in the country was lifted. In November, her case was transferred to the country's specialised criminal court, which normally deals with terrorism cases. So we don't look at international pressure on these issues one way or the other. We're neither doubling down nor not. These are domestic issues. These are issues of our national security. And we will deal with them in an appropriate manner through our court system. She is now accused of communicating with foreign powers and passing on classified information. Little is known for sure about her trial or treatment in the prison system. But her family and human rights groups say that she has been tortured and subjected to sexual harassment. In an interview with France 24, Lu Jane's sister Alia Al Hatlul said that she hoped US President elect Joe Biden's incoming administration could put pressure on Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is fearing the new uh, American administration. Uh, as you said, Joe Biden also uh, expressed that he would like to reshape the relationship with Saudi Arabia. I would like to, to, to call my leaders, my Saudi leaders, to say, this is the time. Do not embarrass yourself anymore and release uh, my sister, release Lujain and the other activists. Ahead of this year's G20 summit, which Saudi Arabia hosted, human rights organizations called on world leaders to put pressure on Saudi Arabia to release political detainees. But the Saudi government said that it would not allow other countries' governments to lecture it.